Welcome to Truly Force Free Animal Training Trainer Quick Tip for today. Um, today, I just want to talk briefly about the value of a treat. So in some of my blogs, I've talked about the different varieties of treats, hot dogs, cheese, peanut butter, um, food logs, even um, uh, cream cheese or different kinds of things that your dog may like. But all those things are fabulous as long as your dog thinks they're fabulous. So if you pick up, and this has happened, hot dogs thinking your dog's gonna think that's great, your dog turns their head at it, it's not motivating enough for them. So you really need to look at your individual dog or cat or horse or whatever you're working with and make sure you're choosing a treat that is exactly what they need. Um, and sometimes they can have a variety of treats. So for Captain and Scout, um, kibble is fine for sit and down and some real basic things. They would do that for anything. Um, Charlie Bears or Dry Biscuits are fine for that too. But if we're doing something really difficult um, or stressful, I need something higher. So Captain sometimes is afraid um, of people when we're on walks. So when we're on a walk, I always have a little packet of cream cheese because for Captain, cream cheese is super highly valuable. So I just give him a little lick out of the corner that I've cut. Scout has to have some too, of course, because we have to be fair. Um, but uh, that is one of his high value treats. He would also, Captain's kind of easy because hot dogs are really one of his favorites. He eats the red log food log, um, red barn food log just as well. So Captain's kind of easy. Now Scout is a little more tricky. Um, she'll take all those things, but if it's something hard, she really wants to wait out for the best. So a great example that I've been working with her recently is she's gone in her crate for her whole life, but recently she's decided she just doesn't really prefer to go in there, um, especially if the treat that she gets when she goes in is nothing. Now, Captain, if I said the, the word that means go to your crate right now, he'd probably run around trying to get into the house to find his crate. But um, for Scout, she'll go over, but she really wants to know it's worth her while. So I just have to use a little higher value when we use that. So I have some meat, um, freeze-dried meat treats right now, sitting by her kennel. As soon as she goes in, she gets that. Now she's back to getting in wanting to go into her crate. Um, sometimes I'm working with dogs with agility and they might like agility in general, but going in the order that we want them to or doing a certain um, skill like stopping at the bottom of a contact may be difficult. So maybe kibble works for some of those things, but it's not gonna work to get them to do those harder behaviors. The same as um, if recall, if when I'm teaching my dogs to come to me, I wanna use the best of the best because I really want it to be motivating. An example I like to give to my clients is, yeah, there's the show Survivor that probably everyone knows where people go on an island, they leave their houses, they leave their jobs, and they go and live on an island and try to be the survivor, the one who wins. People would not do that if the prize was not a million dollars. If you were offered a thousand dollars to, but you had to quit your job, you had to move to a um, island that you may get parasites, you could get sick, it wouldn't be motivating enough. But the million dollars motivates it. The humans are also motivated by the celebrity that comes along with a show like that, but they need the financial um, motivation as well. So when you're choosing your treat, no matter what it is, it could be chicken, it can be um, lunch meat, it can be anything that your dog loves. Um, if it's a harder skill that you're just having trouble with, maybe it's jumping in the car, maybe your dog doesn't like to jump in the car. Well, if you're using milk bones, that's not gonna be enough if they're a little bit afraid or nervous or unsure. But if you put a piece of um, hot dog there, they may jump right in. So if you're struggling with a behavior, especially something new or difficult or something that might be a little scary to your dog, try using a variety of treats, but it might take some time to figure out exactly what motivates your dog the best. So I hope this trainer quick tip helps you today and we'll see you next time.